Welcome back to my Catalina 27 channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the turnbuckles and standing rigging. Because that uh, $5,000 relatively tidy Catalina 27 you bought probably, most assuredly, needs new standing rigging. Um, there's, you're supposed to change this stuff out every 15 years. Some people say 10. I kind of like to do it at 12. It's 119 3 16 wire for the forestay, backstay, and upper shrouds on the Catalina 27. And hang on, trucks. And 5:30 seconds on the four forward and aft lower shrouds. <clears throat> Sorry, they all have 5 16 or mine did at least had 5 16 pin turnbuckles, bronze um, with a chrome plating on it. <clears throat> now, I'm going to change mine because I want a nice shiny chrome and, and new. They're about 70 bucks a piece, but you don't have to change the turnbuckles or the toggler assemblies. If you inspect them thoroughly, they should be okay. If you don't want to, they're bronze underneath. You can wire wheel or scotch bright and they'll come up uh, looking about like that after not much work at all and it'll be fine. It won't stay like that for long, but they won't, uh, they don't lose any of their functionality or, or, or breaking strength by uh, cleaning them up and polishing them. The problem with the standing rigging is inside this swedge where the wire goes in and has been swedged by the machine, uh, that's where the corrosion takes place. That's where it's gonna fail and you can't see it. You can't test for it. All you can do is assume it's there because most of the time it is. You won't know until it fails how bad it really was. And it's on, there's a swedge on this side at the bottom and at the top where it attaches to the mast. Again, another swedged uh, fitting. You just have to change them every 15 years regardless of how they look. And that's just life owning a sailboat. So, they're $70 a piece. Did I say that already? I don't know. But they're 70 bucks a piece at, at uh, West Marine right now. And that's full retail. And it comes with this swedged, a swedgeable fitting, the body, and the toggler, and two uh, cotter pins for the, for the uh, uh, studs. So... That's all I got to say about that. Like and subscribe. Any comments, leave below. I'll uh, put together a comprehensive or a more comprehensive uh, standing rigging uh, video when I, when I put mine together. So look forward to that. And uh, see you next time. Like and subscribe.